welcome to the last three brain cells here. Of course, um, I'm, of course, Sammy here. Uh, Hi, Sammy here. I'm Sammy here, and you're, and you're, and you're. Breaking a cardinal rule, chewing, chewing gum on the mic. My bad. Yeah, I'm, you're breaking. I'm Ian. Yeah, you're Ian, the father of baby Marlo. The father of one. The father of one. That I baby know. Baby Marlo. Yes, that's right. Uh-huh. <laughs> of course. Um, we're going to recap the NFL draft. Okay. Um, we've already got Is that some... why we're here? I thought we were going to do the NBA draft lottery talk. NBA draft lottery That's a daycare center. Piss is our daycare center, and you know it. I do know that. You know they're a daycare center. They need help. We all know it. They're okay? a little young. A little young. They're a daycare center. Not like the Tigers, though. But Not quite that territory. Not right? quite that territory. Uh, we're going to recap the NFL draft, obviously. Um, all right. Your winners, your losers. Um, Who do you think, like, Won it? Who do you think lost it? Um, some draft, some teams that you said like, "What the heck are you doing?" I mean, like teams that you thought had success, but like, oh, like, okay, what are you thinking? Yeah. Um. So let's honestly let's recap all the NFL teams drafts. Um, draft stocks. I mean, like, what you think early on? Um, we're gonna go by team, obviously. Um, but I want to see what your thoughts are. Um, we're gonna start with the Arizona Cardinals. Um. When they drafted, of course, Ohio State offensive tackle Paris Johnson at six overall. They made that trade with the Lions. Um, they drafted um, LSU edge BJ Oshery at number 41. Um, went corner at 72 at Garrett Williams. Stanford wide receiver Michael Wilson at 94. Went offensive lineman John Gaines. Um, Houston quarterback Taylor Clayton Toon at 139. Hmm. Auburn linebacker Owen Papel at 168. Louisville cornerback. Um, Kaitry Clark at 180 and West Virginia defensive tackle Dante Stills at 213. Um, obviously, you're going to look at obviously Arizona needing offensive line help. They didn't need a quarterback in this draft. Um, their day one draft grade, they had an A. Day two was A. Day three was A. So what's your thoughts on Arizona? <laughs> well, they went defense heavy, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, but they got a couple nice picks in there with the D end out of LSU, the wide receiver from Stanford. Yeah. Who else is there? But yeah, yeah, that's good. I mean, the They're offensive a line, team. the offensive line, obviously. Um, yeah. I didn't like their fifth round run at quarterbacks. I didn't like Tune there at, at one thirty nine. I thought well, they that need somebody this year to play for them. Well, yeah, I'll but I don't still, know we don't know about like, Kyler Murray, but well, you he know, ain't coming back. You don't think he's coming back? Not until at the very earliest mid season. Yeah, but still, I mean, you but, gotta tread water somehow. Uh, I don't like. I didn't like the quarterback pick. Um, but still, I mean, they got a draft grade according to NFL.com and a, a for, um, Arizona. I saw um, they were one of the higher graded teams. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> draft grades are tough though, man. They haven't sure. played yet. <laughs> haven't played yet, but still some capabilities. But, but I think they got some good players and mm -hmm. um, going defense heavy to me is never a bad strategy. No, it's never a bad strategy. And you know that. And they traded back and <laughs> traded back up and yeah, they got their guys. Yeah. I mean, they got their guys. I mean, obviously that's good for them. I mean. Yep. Uh, Atlanta. I mean, obviously, Bijan going number eight overall. Then they went Syracuse is a Matthew Bergeron at thirty eight. Zach Harrison at one at seventy five. Clark Phillips at one thirteen. Demarco Helms at two twenty four, and then South Carolina center offensive lineman Jonathan Glenn at two twenty five. Their draft their draft grades obviously A minus. Day one, day two A, day three B plus. Um. I kind of like where Atlanta went. I mean, running back, you know, addressing that area. You have a quarterback already. You didn't they need do? to. You didn't need to draft a quarterback. Who do they got? Um, Ritter. Yeah, Ritter. Desmond Ritter. Yeah. So that scares me. Why does it scare you? He went to Cincinnati and he was like a third round pick. Yeah. Last year. Yeah, but still, I mean, like it's Desmond your, Ritter. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you don't. I think they should have been in on the Lamar. You think Jackson they should have been on that? Yeah, but Lamar signed, re-signed with Baltimore. So yeah, they didn't have to let that happen. No, they, they didn't have to let that happen. Got him. I mean, I like Lebichon coming over there. Um, they draft too many weapons in the first round, always. You think it's a choke job when it happened? Pitts, Drake London. You don't like what Atlanta's going? I don't like that they always draft first round, top 10 a lot of the time, offensive weapons. I mean, did they... Do they need more offensive help? I mean, still need a wide receiver. 
I mean, Calvin Ridley, I think, is back for them. No, he's in Jacksonville. Oh, in Jacksonville. My bad. Jesus. Where am I going at? I don't know. I know. Who's well, next? Okay, Baltimore. My okay. team. All right. Tell You You, you got, don't ask my opinion. You got, I want to know your opinion. Zay Flowers. I'm gonna, I'll am hang up and listen. Yeah, Zay Flowers. Trey, Trent Simpson. You got Mississippi Android or Tavius Robinson. Kai Blue Kelly at 157. Off of the tackle, Melissa Lau and Andrew Voorhees. A's for Baltimore. All three days, A's. Absolutely love it. I mean, you got Flowers at wide receiver, Cotton Beckham. I mean, like, you have Lamar throwing the ball. Um, I'll tell you what. I mean, I love their defense. I like Raquan Smith. Um, I really like what they I really like what Baltimore did. I mean, in this draft. I I really, really love what they did. I mean, they added depth on the edge. I mean, I'll tell you what. I mean, like, yeah, I've always come off ACL tear, but I absolutely love what Baltimore did. Baltimore's going to be back in the AFC North conversation. They're a player again. Yeah? They're not going to beat Cleveland. <laughs> Are you serious? No way. No way. Good they did grief. lose their old coordinator, though. Yes, they did. But... Who'd they replace him with? Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure who they did. Not sure either. They got but, somebody, though, right? Yeah, they did. Buffalo. I mean, you got Utah tight end Dalton Kinney, 25 overall. Don't know if I like that trade. Well, pick. first tight end off the board. Yeah. A lot of people thought he was uh, the best. They got Ford off at the lineman, Osiris Torrance at 59. Dorian Williams at 91. Justin Shorter at 150, wide receiver. Offensive lineman Nick Brocker at 230. And Alex Austin at 252. All three A's at the exception day one, A minus. What do you thought of the Bills? Does the person grading this have any other letters in their vocabulary? I don't know. All A's. I don't know. I mean, like, you know, I mean, they address. Who do you got on there that is rated poorly? Uh, who who did this person not like? Was this Yahoo? Wait till, you know, it's NFL.com. Okay. Wait till it, you're going to love Carolina's picks. Why? I heard they did good. No? They got to be, according to me. They got to be. Uh, but Buffalo, but back to Buffalo. I, I, I think Buffalo. They needed O line. They need O line help, obviously. And they got it. So. Running back is a question mark for me with Buffalo. Still, they need a running back. They need a running back. I don't think they addressed that. You know what I mean? They didn't address that in this draft. I thought if I wonder if they signed a free agent. There were a lot of running backs. Available. I think Latavius Murray heard they signed. I mean, uh, an undrafted free agent. I, I, I'm. I would give Baltimore lower grade. A Buffalo lower grade. I thought you know who would be good in Buffalo. Was yeah, coming from Minnesota. Yeah, and he re- and he's with the Lions. What the heck? Sorry about the Lions. But I still that's I don't I would I would agree I would grade Buffalo's pick probably lower. I would grade. I like they went offensive line. Because yeah, they went offensive line. Yeah, but they didn't address running really back. If they didn't address running back, they didn't address they need somebody. They need somebody. Of course, you know the bulk of the running game is gone. Yeah. But I I didn't like what Buffalo did. I'll be honest with you. I really didn't. Fair enough. Um, Carolina. Obviously, Bryce Young number one overall. They gave up so much to get. They gave up the entire farm. Um, Ole Miss wide receiver Jonathan Mingo at thirty nine. Edge rusher DJ Johnson at Oregon at eighty. NC State off at the guard Chandler Zavala at one fourteen. Florida State defensive back Jamie Robinson at one forty five. This guy gave their day one grade an A. No surprise, Bryce Young. Day two was a C plus. Day three was a B. I mean, they had two. They had two picks on Saturday. I mean, two picks. That kind of tells you how much they trade the farm. I think they did pretty <laughs> decently in free agency. Yeah, they did decent free agency. Yeah, DJ Chark so going there for them to kind of top it off, get their quarterback they like. That's why it's hard to grade now because we say, hey, maybe they could have done more. They could have kept those picks, but it's Bryce Young, fifteen-year starter, lost them. And that draft is going to be pretty good. But what if he's a bust? Then what's going to be the draft class? Yeah, pretty much. Um, Chicago. They Boo. gave an A. The Moss is midway. Boo. Dress their offensive. They dress their line issues. Darnell White, 10 overall. Tennessee. Gervon Dexter, defensive tackle, 53 overall. Quarterback, Tariq Stevenson, 56. Zach Pickens, 64. Roshgon Johnson from Texas, running back at 115. I don't know if I like that. Um, 
Cincinnati, Tyler Scott, 133. Oregon, Noah Sowell at 148. Minnesota. Brother. Yep. Minnesota cornerback, Terrell Smith at 165. Kiwanaw State, Travis Bell at 218. And Kendall Williamson at 258. I don't like. There's a couple of picks I don't like with Chicago. I don't like Rashawn Johnson at 115. I don't like Tyler Scott at 133. Sewell's an interesting pick because he's a younger brother, obviously. Um, I, I think, you know, obviously addressing the line was a big deal. Um, I, I just don't like the Johnson pick. I just don't like it because he's a power back, but he was behind Deshaun, um, you know, Deshaun in Texas. Bijan, yeah, in Texas. I just don't like the pick. Um, they they need help in running in running back. Yeah, but I, I don't like I don't like, I don't like I don't like that pick. I mean, like I think there are more options there. Um, I, I'm surprised Steveman didn't get drafted because that line is kind of yeah. I'm surprised there. about that, but still, but I didn't like what Chicago Chicago dressed the offense the line. So obviously needed to they needed to big time. Do I, are they a team? On the rise in FC North, I don't know. I don't think so. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. I mean, we'll Loops see. Are still to come. Trades are still to come. Yeah. The dust has to settle on the draft. Uh huh. And then I think there's going to be, you know, another round. Free agency, getting signed, and trades. Either mm-hmm. around training camp or before the start of training camp. Mm hmm. Cincinnati. Um, Miles Murphy going 28 overall from Clemson. DJ Turner at 60, Jordan Battle at 95, Charlie Jones at 131, Chase Brown. I actually love Chase Brown at 163. Andre Avalos at 206. I don't know about that one. They went punter at 217 with Brad Robbins. The dude from uh, Michigan. And then. Did you see Jake Moody got drafted in like the third round? I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Who drafted him again? Uh. We'll go over that in a well, couple minutes. We'll get there. We'll get there. And then DJ Ivy at 246. Um, Cincinnati just waited patiently. They still need line help. I like that Chase Brown pick, though. I love that pick. They, need I mean, to they address their running back issue. Yeah. I don't like that they didn't address offensive line. I mean, I mean, Joe Burrow took a beating. Yeah. He took a beating. Yeah. I don't understand why. If I had to give I know this guy gave Cincinnati A minus, I would give him probably a C because they didn't draft the they didn't draft any offensive lineman or defensive lineman in this draft that would protect Joe Burrow. This might be another year where I think he's gonna get I mean, he's gonna get hurried, pressured. It's gonna get bad. Maybe. It could get That's bad. It's a tough division they're in. Yeah. And you look at I think Pittsburgh's more improved there. I think Baltimore's improved. Cleveland, it's hard for me to trust them. Yeah. Um, speaking of Cleveland, they got a B. Okay. C minus on the first day. Ooh. Would they draft? Uh, Did they have a pick? They have a pick. Yeah, they didn't have a pick. Yeah, because um, they drafted because the Sean Watson trade. So Houston picked Will Anderson and Stroud with their. Yeah, pretty much. Collection. Yeah, pretty much. But here's what Cleveland picked: Cedric Tillman, seventy fourth overall. I don't know if I like that pick. Um. Defensive tackle, Salaj Akat, 98. Um, Dewan Jones at 111, the local product. Isaiah McGuire at 126. Quarterback, Dorian Thompson Robinson at 140. UCLA? Yeah. Eh, not a bad pick. Eh. Cornerback, Cameron Rich at 142, and Luke Wiper at 190. Um, their day two grade was pretty good. It was A. But day one was a C minus, and then day three was a B. I think a lot of that, you know what I mean, was the picks that they traded. But, you know, Cleveland addressed some offensive line issues that they needed. Um, just, I don't like the Tillman pick. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't really like that. I think that was just a little reach. I think it's reach. Um, but if I had to grade Cleveland in this draft, I would probably grade them maybe a D. Ooh, for I would, dog pound. For do- oh yeah, but a D. Yep. I would even ask Oakview assistant principal um Nick Casilla his thoughts on this. He's from the land, huh? He's no, he's not from Cleveland, oh. but but he's a Browns aficionado. 
No, I would. I would just ask his advice on this because Maybe to call me, in next week. yes, Cleveland. I would give a D. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Next, we have the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> What's wrong with the Cowboys? Because they went two Michigan guys. With yep. Nazi Smith and Luke Schoemaker. There's one problem. <laughs> they went Texas um, linebacker De- DeMarion Overshone at 90. Went Edge place, Tackle. Uh, what's his name? Yeah. Van they Dash. went They went Valami Falasho Jr. at 129. Asim Richards at 169. Eric Scott Jr. from Southern Miss, Southern Miss at 178. Deuce Vaughn at 212. And Jalen Brooks at 244. I mean... I think the pro I, I, Nazi Smith, he's gonna help them. They need an edge rock. They need a um. They need a defense to tackle really badly. The showmaker pick. I don't understand why that pick. Well, they lost Dalton Schultz. They did lose him, so they did address that. Um, Schultz went to Houston. So it gives him. It gives Dak another option. It gives him an option. Running back's gonna be the big question, I think, for Dallas, considering they just lost Zeke. They got Pollard. They got Pollard, yep. Um, Pollard's going to get a lot more carries now. That'd be interesting. Um, yeah, and then, but they p- drafted Deuce Vaughn 212. So, Jerry Jones, you know he's got a history here. Oh, yeah. He's got a big history here. He does. So, I, I'm curious to see what Dallas does because, but I, I just kind of think Nazi Smith and Luke Showmaker, the two Michigan guys, I'll be honest with you, I thought they were reaches. But, We'll see. I mean, Nazi Smith, you know, who knows what he can be in the NFL, but you know offensive linemen are very good. Yeah. So, we'll see how this goes, but right. they gave Dallas a B plus. I would have to give Dallas maybe a C plus. Okay. So, that's my pick on Dallas. You're harsher, greater. I like it. I know. Thank you. The Denver Broncos. No. <laughs> the Wilson trade. That was a beautiful disaster. What, they have three picks? Uh, they five. had five picks. Um... It went Marvin Mims, 63rd overall. Drew Sanders, 67th overall. What? Riley Moss, 83. uh, J.L. Skinner at 183. Alex Porsche at 257. Now, this is the grade. If I had to grade a team that gives an F, this is it. Oh, yeah? Yes, because I absolutely don't like what Denver did because they need – they need linemen. They need linemen. They need to protect Russell Wilson. But Russell Wilson, yeah, he needs weapons. But I didn't like what Denver did. I mean, they got so many holes they got to address. And they'll have a lot of cap. They don't have a lot of nothing. Nothing. Yeah. They just drafted their draft capital over for Russell Wilson. And Sean Payton. And Sean Payton. So They are banking. I, I, I don't like what Denver's direction is. I, I just don't. Exactly. If I had to grade Denver, an F. F. You know? That's why I get them. Fair enough. Next, our hometown Detroit Lions. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Jameer Gibbs, 12 overall. Jack Campbell, 18. Sam Laporte, 34. Brian Branch, 45. Henderson Hooker, 68. Broderick Martin, 96. William and Mary, Kobe Soto, 152. And Antoine Green at 219. Um, I'm thinking about the Lions. And why would you draft a running back six overall? 12. Oh, 12 overall. But then you kind of start figuring out, okay, when they trade away DeAndre Swift to Philly, it kind of started to get things going a little bit. The Jack Campbell tri- pick, I like that one. Sam Laporta one, I don't like that one. I'm not a big fan. Um, I think the Notre Dame guy, who they should have drafted, should have been the pick. Mayor. Mayor, yep. Yeah. But I absolutely love Brian Branch. He addresses the corner issue so much, especially when you have guys that are on one-year deals. You know what I mean? I think they have three guys on one-year deals. Yeah. And I think he's going to be a big help there. Hendon Hooker's in the right spot for the Lions. Jericho's back up. I mean, maybe two, three years till he becomes a starter. His arm is really good. And when healthy. I don't like the Kobe Sorrell pick at 152. I think it's a reach. Um, and then 
Antoine Green at 219, a wide receiver. Um, I, I just don't like the Campbell pick. I mean, yeah, I mean, I actually, no, I'll take the back. It's the Laporte pick I don't like because you had my, you have Michael Mayer there. Take him. You take him. That solves a lot of issues there. But when you talk, uh, they like Laporta better. I don't understand why. But Pat Caputo said the Lions had a good draft. That's hard for me to believe him. Really? And he and I had him as a professor. Oh, I know. And I talked to Nick Nick Casilla about about this. Yeah. And what Nick said. He he was a little confused with the Lions picks, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him. But, you know, it worked It worked out. You know, you got to look at it long term here. Yeah. Who knows? It might work out. It might. I mean, Jameer Gibbs, you know, you look at comparisons to Christian McCaffrey. You look at comparisons to um, Alvin Kamara. Uh, maybe it could work out. You know, he and Montgomery could be a good one-two punch. It could. They could be a great one. It could be, you know. Then it you have could Jameson be a lot Wh- better than Jamal and Chase. Yeah, but you, but you can also. They had a darn good year. And they did. And, yeah, Jamison Williams come back from a six-game suspension once he gets back. Amara St. Brown. But they didn't address the wide receiver position, position very well. Well, they got Marvin Jones. Yeah. To me, watching <laughs> highlights of that Antoine Green, the receiver from UNC, mm-hmm. he looks exactly like Marvin Jones. Yeah. To me. Um, <laughs> oh, my And I God. think they got Laporta to be their big their big weapon because they didn't, you know, Monra smaller, Jamison smaller. Leaf, Josh can he Reynolds. catch a football? If Laporta can catch, they think he can be, to me, I think they think he can be their big player. Yeah, but he and Hawkinson are basically played the same position we was at Iowa. True. You know, and I think Hawkinson is still a free agent. Mm, Hawkinson's got one more year, I believe. Oh, he does? The Vikes, I mm. believe. Or maybe, I'm not sure. I thought he was a free agent. He might be. Yeah, he might be. Maybe. Boy. Oh, boy. That was a good trade. Yeah, great trade. How do you like this? Now we get to go to the power of cheese. Yeah. Yep. Okay, drafted. Lucas Van Ness, 13th overall. Luke Musgrave, 42. Jaden Reed, 50 overall. Jaden Reed. Why do uh, you have to go to the Packers? <laughs> Tyler. Tucker Craft, 78. Kobe Wooden, 116. Sean Clifford, quarterback, 149. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Poor Jordan Love. He could be in some trouble. Um, oh, Sean Clifford? Yeah, Sean Clifford. Wow. <laughs> Why would they even draft him? Yeah, then you got Devontae Wicks, 159. Kyle Brooks, 179. They draft a kicker at 207. Who? Andres Carlson at 207. Where'd he go? Auburn. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Cornerback Carlton Valentine at 232. Troy Cast Tech local product Lou Nichols at 235. Iowa State, Anthony Johnson at 242, and Charlotte Grant, and Charlotte's wide receiver Grant DeBoe at 256. I actually like what Green Bay did. I mean, Sean Clifford challenges Jordan Love. Not in this world. Why? Sean Clifford is terrible. He <laughs> thinks Sean Clifford's terrible. I don't think he's good. I like Not the, NFL good. I like the wide receivers. I like Jaden Reed. Yep. Um, Lucas Van Ness, edge rusher. I like I like him a lot out of Iowa. Um, I absolutely like Lou Nichols here in this spot in Green Bay. Um, I'll tell you what I really I think Green Bay. You know what they did. I like what they are. I like what they did. Are they? I think they're maybe two years away from maybe contending for the NFC North. Get out! <laughs> well, I'm telling you, this division's on lockdown. <laughs> what do you mean? It's through on the rest of the decade. What do you mean it's on lockdown? It runs through Detroit. I don't know about that. I mean, like, the Lions draft really, really got me scared. It's well, got me you scared. Have to, you have to take each team off season mm-hmm. and free agency into account. I actually like what Green Bay did. I actually do. Fine. Fine. They did all right. They did all right. We'll I like what happens. Green Bay did. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But Green Bay, I like what they did. I like what they did against the Lions last mm. year. Yeah, I know. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Not a darn thing. <laughs> yeah, because Aaron Rodgers, all he did was this. Basically, right. met um, he met um, Kirby, he met Kirby Joseph. 
He completed more passes to Kirby last year than uh, Christian Watson. That is true. That is true. Okay, our, our team from Houston. CJ Stroud, Will Anderson, Drew Struggs, Tank Dell, Dalen Horton, Henry Tuto. Went 167 there. Um, Jared Patterson, 201. Xavier Henderson, 205. Brandon Hill, 248. Houston pulled off probably one of the stunningest trades in sports history. Draft back Drafting to back. back to back to drafting Will Anderson. You got your you got an offensive player for the future. You got your defensive player for the future. Mm-hmm. I absolutely love what Houston did. Yeah, it's a good first round. For Great sure. first round for Houston. Now they gave him a B plus. I don't understand why. Mm-hmm. On day one. I don't understand why. Um day two they gave him a B. Day three was an A. If it was me on Houston, I'd give him an A. Just because of two three. Just because of two picks. Just because they of gave up a lot, but gave a lot. Well worth it. We'll see. Yeah. Well worth it. Certainly could be. Yes. Indianapolis. Andy Richardson fourth overall. Kansas State, Julie Brents, 44. Josh Down, 79. Blake Freeland, 106. Adawana, Adabore, 110. Darius Rush, 138. Daniel Scott, 158. Will Malloy, 162. Evan Hall, 176. Wagner edge rusher, Titus Leo, 211. Mm. Jalen Jones, 221. Jake. Wilt from Northern Michigan, two thirty six. Or if you know Scott Avery, yes, I wonder that too. If you know Scott Avery, Joe Nowicki, also both went to Northern. Yeah, both went to Northern. I think Brad Hood went to Northern too, didn't he? I think he did. I don't know. I don't know. But I'll tell you what, I absolutely love what Indianapolis did. Anthony Richardson, quarterback of the future. I really like. They beefed up their line. I love the Jake Witt pick. He's a very underrated player. Um, I like Adabori from Northwestern. He's going to be solid. Um, Blake Freeland from BYU. Really love that pick. They address the offensive line. They address the quarterback. Mm-hmm. They got some secondary help. I mean, I I asked a little bit of Indianapolis did. They could use a weapon or two, but they, that's a good foundational piece. It's pieces. a great foundational piece. I mean, the grade fits. They gave me an A. If Richardson is good, look out. Yep. If Richardson's he good. Be, he could be something else. Watch out, AFC South. Yeah. Watch out. I really like what they did. Next is Jacksonville. Speaking of. Speaking AFC. of. AFC South. You got Atten Harrison at 27 overall. Brandon Strange, 61 overall. Auburn kicker Tank, running back Tank Big, Bigsby, 98 overall. Um, Virtual Miller, 121. Tyler Lancey, 130. Yasir Abdullah, 136. Antonio Johnson, 160. Parker Washington, 185. Christian Braswell, 202. Eric Hallett, 208. Appalachian State offensive guard Cooper Hughes, 226. Raymond Voljak, 227. And fullback Derek Parrish, 240. Day one grade was an A. Day two was a B minus. Day three was a B. So if you're Shuri Khan, the owner of the Jaguars, of course this one's AEW, by the way. Um I don't like well the the suspension for Cam Robinson, you know that was coming. You know, that's gonna that's gonna come. Um they they need they need offensive line help. It looks like they addressed that. Um with Etten Henderson. Um, I wish I could have added more help to that. I mean, Cooper Hodges will help a little bit, but I just I, I just felt like they kind of should have addressed that a little bit. I mean, they got quarterback of the future in Jared Lawrence. Uh, or Trevor Lawrence. Um, but they could have used more. They could have used more. So if I had to grade Jacksonville, they said it was B+. Plus. I would probably give it a B-, minus okay. because that's my take on it. You know? Yep. Um, Kansas City. You know, the Super Bowl champs. Patrick Mahomes. They went Kansas City. They went local product. Felix Andue Uvzala, 31 overall from K-State. 
SMU wide receiver Ray, Rashi Rice at 55. Wanda Morris at 92. Jamari Connor at 119. BJ Thompson 166. Um, Keandre Coburn 194. And Nick Jones at um, 250. I mean, their edge rushers okay. I, I mean, Kansas City did need to address their defense a little bit. I think it did that. Um, the secondary, yeah, especially. Their secondary, they, they had Shamari Connor at 119 mm. um, and Nick Jones at 250. But I, I, it's hard for me to trust this team in the secondary. It really is. I mean, if you want to play Kansas City, burn them secondary. Right. I mean, Kansas City's not very good in the secondary. Really not. They have a pass rush, tr- though. Huh? They have a pass rush. They got though. a pass rusher now, but, you know, but still, I mean, they got it. I mean, like. Yeah. I don't like this. I, I would give Kansas City more of like a C because of the secondary. Um, they need to address that. But sure. we'll see. How about the Vegas Raiders? Oh, oh my boy. God. Um, Tyree Wilson, seven overall from Texas Tech. You've seen what type of freakish athlete he is. Mm-hmm. Played at AM, transferred to Tech. Look what he's done there in Lubbock. Yep. Um Michael Maurer at 35. I don't know why the Lions screwed this up. Um, I really like Mayer. Um, Byron Young, defensive tackle, went 70. Trey Tucker went at 100 from Cincinnati. Ja'Cory and Bennett, 104. Aiden O'Connell at 135. I don't know if I like that pick. Hmm. Um, Christopher Smith at 170. I'm Mary Brentley at 203. And Nesta Jaylee Silva at 231. Um... I don't like the Aiden O'Connell pick at 135. I think that is a reach. Um, but they need a quarterback, obviously, because you got Jimmy G there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't know how many years Jimmy G's got left. Well, they signed him to a three-year deal. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not good. We'll see if he plays, you know. All Can of he it. play all of it? That's the question. Right. That's not good, though. No. But, um, I like Wilson at seven. I like Michael Meyer at 35. Um, really do like that pick. To replace Waller. Yeah, especially Waste Waller. Um, I think he's a better, Meyer's better player than Laporte is. Oh, boy. I think he is. Remember fighting words. Yeah, those are real fighting words. We'll see. I mean, if if not. Back-to-back pick. If Laporte has a better year, if Laporte has a better year than Michael Meyer, I'll buy Mr. Cor- I'll buy Mr. Garcia pop. I buy would- him. Because you're making a bet for another dude in front of me. He's a great you buy guy. Me a pop. He's a great guy. Fair enough, but we're betting here. You want to bet it? You, we're going overall touchdowns. Overall touchdowns. Okay, sure. I'll take Laporta. Okay, I got Meyer. Let's go. <laughs> Fine. Yep. Okay. Yeah. The um, they need to address the secondary. Um. Jacqueline Bennett, um, curious to see. They addressed that. I don't know if I trust Bennett at 104. I mean, they still got to address the secondary. It's still a problem over there. Um, we'll see how that goes. How about the Chargers? Um, Quentin Johnson, 21 overall. Ted Lui, 54th overall, linebacker from Southern Cal. Dalen Henley, 85. TCU's. Devarius Davis at 125. Jordan McFadden, 156. Boise State, defensive tackle. Sean Matlock at 200. Max Dugan, quarterback at 239. They love that TCU team. Yes, they do. Quentin Johnson, Max Dugan, future. Future combo? Yeah. Even they got Justin. Why? You just said it. They got Justin Herbert. <laughs> they got Justin Herbert, yeah. yeah. So, unless he gets hurt. We're unless he gets hurt, hurt, yeah. I can see him training Justin Herbert in the future. Why? Be silly. How would that be silly? Because he's a great quarterback. When he had Max Dugan there waiting the wings. Max Dugan's a Michigan killer, and you know it. He ain't better than Herbert, though. Maybe Max Dugan beat Michigan. That ain't hard. <laughs> I know that ain't hard. But he beat Michigan. Yeah, so what? Hey, it's a big deal when he beat Michigan in the college football playoff. Ah. What do you mean? Ah. Then, they ah. got, then they got their face smashed in by Georgia. Yeah, that's true. They didn't get their face smashed by Georgia. Good grief. That was a train. Yeah, that was a hard to watch. The Rams. Ooh. Everybody thought the Lions, 
the Lions fleeced them. Everybody thought that. But, man, did they make some picks. Steve Avila, 36 overall. Byron Young, number 77 overall. Kobe Turner, 89th overall. Why would you draft Stenson Bennett at 128? Oh, man. I um, don't know. Appalachian State, Nick Campton at 161. William McClellan at 174. Davis Allen, 175. Puka Nakwa, 177. Tavares Hodges Thompson at 182. Ocean Mattis, 189. Zach Evans, 215. Wingate punter Ethan Evans at 233. Mm. Oklahoma State, Jason Taylor at 234. And Deshaun Johnson, 259. I mean, I'll tell you what. I thought the Rams did well. They got draft capital. Yeah, they had some picks. They got some picks. So, the Lions trade might not have backfired on the Rams after all. It did not backfire. They won the Super Bowl. Yes. So, but automatically, even if they go 0-17. I don't that, like the Bennett pick. I just don't like the no, Bennett pick. A little strange. A little strange. I don't like the Bennett pick. Um, But I do like a lot of other things, though. I like the fact they address the secondary. I like they have an edge rusher. Um, They address their line. I think the Rams will be back in no time. They could be. They could be. If Donald is healthy, if Stafford's healthy. Yeah, look out. Yeah, they did still lose some pieces, though. They did. They lost Ramsey. Mm-hmm. Somebody else I can't think of. Mm-hmm. Short, yeah, now we go to the fish, the Miami Dolphins. Oh, boy. Okay. They gave them a B minus, and they had four picks because they lost their first-round pick. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Cam Smith, 51 overall. Devin Ashley, 84th overall. Elijah Higgins, 197. Ryan Hayes, Michigan offensive tackle, 238. If there's a team that deserves an F, it's Miami. Agreed. My goodness. That you forfeited your first round pick. <laughs> and they had to give up picks for Ramsey. Right. They had Bradley Chubb. And Chubb. Yep. And then of course they had to set their fourth and sixth round pick to KC for the for um the Chija. For the cheetah. Wow. So yeah, they had nothing. Yeah, if there's a team that deserves an F, it's Miami. There you go. Yeah, they got Tua, but if there's a team that deserves an F, it's Miami. They were a playoff team. They were. Yep. They started some guy I never heard of at quarterback, but they were there. My other team, the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah. How many teams you got now? Are In the up, NFL, up to nine. My yeah. empire. I have three teams. Oh God. Dallas, Minnesota. Baltimore. Baltimore, always. You are not invited to the Lions parade when they win. Okay? <laughs> not allowed. I know I know you and um, Lake Orion football coach Chris Bell has an issue with me with my sports empire right now. Yeah, I don't care for it. You watch your mouth. All right. The Vikings went with Jordan Addison at 23rd overall. Good replacement for... um. <laughs> replacement. Looks like a middle schooler. What? It's a replacement for... um. It's a replacement for, um, God, who was it that left? Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen? Yeah, good yeah, replacement. he didn't do much either. What do you mean he didn't do too much? That is a good replacement. And then you have um, Malachi Blackman, 102. They really addressed the secondary. I mean, Malachi Blackman, Jay Ward, 134 overall. Jaquan Roy, 141. Jaron Hill at 164, quarterback from BYU. And Dwayne McBride, 222. Jaron Hall's an interesting one because he could be Kirk Cousins' replacement pretty soon. You don't think so? No. Very few quarterbacks out of the first round of this draft. But they drafted. And that is saying Hendon Hooker might probably won't work out. I think sitting by Jared Goff will help him. It will. It will. But chances are, are, are slim. But they found their secondary help because they were absolutely terrible in the secondary last year. Yeah, well, Amon Ross is still going to run all over him. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, but I like Blackman. I like Ward in the secondary. I like that they addressed defensive tackle. Kind of wish it would have went another lineman maybe um, in this draft. Who knows? But I kind of like it where they're at. I mean, if I had to give Minnesota, they gave Minnesota an A-, minus, i give an A. Of course. You <laughs> sure I would. I'm going to give their season next year an A, too, when they go 8-9. and nine. Yeah. yeah. Who do you think I should blame for that? The whole town of Minneapolis. 
I don't like their hockey team. Other than that, everything else is everything else is fine. Are you a big Twins fan? Uh, the Twins big are okay. T-Wolf fan? No, not really. Uh, but I can't stand their hockey team. Fair enough. Um, New England. Christian Gonzalez. Wow. Kenyon White. I mean, like, Martin. Who, who's making the picks this year? Bill Belichick's dog again or what? Maybe. Jake Andrews from Troy at 107. I think this is where the Maryland plays the kick. I think this is where you, you, we talked earlier about who drafted a kicker early. Maryland's kicker went yeah. to New England? Went 112. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Eastern Michigan offensive of lineman, Sydney South, 117. Antonio Malfoy at 144. Kayshawn Boo at 187. Bryce Beringer at 187, at 192. Why would you punter. kick? Why would you kick a draft the punter and a kicker in the same draft? Um, needed help. <laughs> Liberty wide receiver Demario Douglas at two ten, Michigan State cornerback Amir Speed at two fourteen, and Jackson State cornerback Isaiah Bolden at two forty five. I don't understand why New England would do. I don't understand they need, anything they need, about them. They need quarterback help, obviously. Um. Yeah, Matt Patricia's gone. That helps. Yeah. <laughs> Speed and Bolden are interesting players. They help their secondary. Christian Gonzalez, you know, is going to help them right away. Eh. They dress the he secondary. Can't tackle, but all right. They dress He's the secondary. Have a hard time with Bill Belichick. They gave New England's pick an A. Wow. I would give it a C. I'm agreeing with you on that. I give them a C. I mean, that's just awful. Just awful. Not great. No. Okay, we got next here is the. Fighting Spoons and New Orleans Saints. All right. Um, Clemson tackle Brian Brees, 29 overall. Isaiah Folkley at 40 overall. Keandre Miller at 71 overall. Old Dominion offensive lineman Nick Salveri at 103. Fresno State quarterback Jake Hadner at 127. Jordan Howen at 146. And Wake Forest wide receiver A.J. Perry at 195. I mean... They had their first round pick, but it was set to Philly. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of New England of New Orleans picks. Not a big fan. They addressed their trenches, which is good. Yeah, yeah. that's good for them. Um, but Jay Cannon at 127, I I don't like that pick one bit. Um, I don't like the At Perry pick at 195 either. But this guy liked him. I didn't. So. Just he was right. <laughs> he was right. I give him a C. I would give him a C, honestly. That's fair. Yeah. Um, the New York Football Giants. Deontay Banks, twenty-four overall. John Michael Smith, fifty-seventh overall. Jalen Hyatt, seventy-third overall. Eric Gray, one seventy-two overall. Trey Hawkins, two hundred nine. Jordan Wiley, 243. Gavin Owens, oh, Gervius Owens, 254. Banks, love the pick. Really? I think he's a full athlete. Corner. Yeah. New York and, needs help in secondary. Oh, yeah. I mean, you just locked up Daniel Jones. <laughs> I don't know why you did that, but. Uh, yeah, I agree. But, um, but you, you got some issues there. Um. I like that they address the secondary. I like Trey Hawkins a lot from Old Dominion. Um, they address the offensive line. I like John Michael Smith. He's a golfer. Um, other than that, I thought New York, you know what I mean? If it were me, I'd probably give him like a B. You know what I mean? That's give fair. Him a B. Yeah. Yep, I give him a B. Next, we have the New York Packers. Ooh. The New York Packers. They went... Will McDonald, 15th overall, Iowa State edge rusher. Joe Tipman, 43. Carter Warren, 120. Israel Apagana, 143. Western Michigan linebacker Zaire Barnes, Southfield A&T Arts and Tech product, 184. Jared Bernard, Converse, 204. And Zach Kuntz, 220 overall. If there was a team, another team I would give an F to, is this. Because I don't like the Will McDonald pick at all. They have an edge rusher. They have a couple edge rushers. I mean, I, I absolutely just don't like this pick at all. Um, if I were to have been New York, I would have freaking be trading Zach Wilson right now. I would be trading Zach Wilson right now. I don't know who's going to 
taken, but I know a couple teams that take him. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Yes, but. Go I'll, back to Boise. Or where's he from? Utah. Uh, I think. I think. But I, Bring him Zach down. Wilson's got to get out of New York, I think. Yeah, that'd be true. He's got to get out of New York because Aaron Rodgers is there. Um, I mean, I feel bad for the kid because now he started with New York, got benched, and now you bring in Aaron Rodgers. Oh, he's making a lot of money. He's okay. He's making a lot of money. Fine, but is he playing? No, but he's a first round. Tampa player. Bay's looking for a quarterback. They got Baker. Yeah, but Tampa needs a quarterback. Yeah, they do. Um, Philly. I love this team. Oh, boy. Jalen Carter, 9 overall. Nolan Smith, 30 overall. Two Bulldogs. Tyler Steen, 65. Sidney Brown, 66. Short, I mean, Ke- Kelly Ringo, 105. I don't like the Tanner McKinney pick at 188. Texas, um, off of a defensive tackle. Morrow Omano, 249. I absolutely love this pick. I love what Philly did. Give me an A+. Plus. This team looks Good and dangerous. And they got DeAndre Swift. Yeah, they got DeAndre Swift. Eagles could really much seriously go back to Super Bowl next year. Oh, they could. You think Dallas or you think the Lions? <laughs> yeah, you're going. Don't give me those Bugs Bunny eyes now. That's all, folks. <laughs> Philly's packing it up early. No, they're not. Okay, Pittsburgh. Roderick Jones, 14th overall. Joey Porter, 30, 32 over there. Um, I love that pick. Um, Keewon Burton, 49. Um, they're not watching, 93. Nick Kirby, 132. Corey Trice, 241. Spencer Anderson, 251. Love what Pittsburgh did. <laughs> Why? That's why they're Pittsburgh. Hey. That's why they're always good. The terrible towels, you know what I mean? I know. Or I call Pittsburgh, of course, if you're an AEW fan, home of Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. All right. <laughs> yep. Doctor so, will see you now. Yep. Doctor will see you now. Yep. Love the pick. Love. If if she was here in this podcast, she loved, she loved this. She loved what Pittsburgh did. I'm giving Pittsburgh A+. Plus. Okay. San Francisco. Did they have any picks? Yeah, they had it. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is our <laughs> This is where you're going to complain. Um, Javier Brown, 87 overall. Why would you put, why would you take a kicker at, at 99 with Jake Moody? Rockford product, I get it, but why? Don't know. Um, Cameron, led to 101. Daniel Luther Jr., 155. Robert Beal, 173. Probably their best pick of the draft. D. Winters, 216. Brayden Willis, 247. Ronnie Bell, 253. Jalen Graham, 255. Oh, Michigan. Oh, my goodness. Oh. If this team, if there's a team that deserves an F, this is it. Really? Yes. San Francisco deserves an F in my book. I can see that. So we're at the Jets, yeah, terrible Broncos, draft. and Niners. Huh? Jets, Broncos, and Niners so far. Yeah, pretty close. Yep. Jets, Broncos, Niners. Yep. Give me an F for this one. That's a horrible trade. Horrible draft for them. Terrible. You mean Jake Moody's not a top 100 player? Jake for Moody him? is not. Jake, why would you draft the punter in the, um, in the, in the second round? That was the third round. Third round. Why would you draft him in the third round? Or, or early fourth. Why? That's Stop terrible. That. That's awful. I didn't do it. I know you didn't. I know you didn't. I think you're smarter than what San Francisco <laughs> did. I mean, I think you're smarter than what San Francisco did. Okay? I know half the people... Half the people around the world are smarter than what San Francisco did. Goodness gracious. That's tough. Yeah. Next, we have the Seattle Seahawks. Dave, Devon Witherspoon, fifth overall. My cousin. Yes. Jason Smith Nagmiba from Ohio State, 20th overall. Derek Hall, 37th overall. Zach Charbonnet, 52nd overall. Anthony Bradford, 108. Cameron Young, 123. Mike Morris, 151. Uwe Uotali, 154. Jarek Reed, 198. Kenny McTavish, 237. They gave Seattle an A minus. I'm giving him an A. Because I really like what the. the I love Weatherspoon. I love Enigma. They address the needs. I love Derek Hall at the edge. Zach Charbonnet running back is going to give K9 some competition. 
Uh, um, the four, the first four picks I really liked. Andy Bradford's another one I, I like too. I mean, I think Seattle absolutely killed it. They benefited from the Russell Wilson trade. I mean, love what the Seahawks did. I mean, I'm serious. That's them and the Lions, draft. a lot of like. That's a good draft. Yeah, great draft by Pete Carroll. Great draft. You know? Tampa Bay. I mean, Shella Cansey, 19 overall. Cody Mad, 48 overall. Yeah, yeah, Dabby at 82 overall. Um, Servanda Dennis at 153 overall. Payne Durham, 171. Josh Hayes at 181. Trey Palmer at 191. And Eastern Michigan edge rusher Jose Ramirez at 196. They didn't draft a quarterback. Please trade for Zach Wilson, please. If I'm Tampa, please. You're going to bank it on Sam Bradford? Baker. Oh, Baker Mayfield? I apologize to my Oklahoma Sooners. Yeah. I'm messing my Oklahoma Sooners. This, this is why the show is called Last Three Brain Cells. There's not much left to work with. No, there isn't. But Tampa, if I had a great Tampa, B. They draft the quarterback. Yeah. They draft the quarterback in the future. Right. Unless it's CJ Yates, he might be their future, maybe. Ugh. Maybe. Why? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ugh. My Ugh. goodness gracious. Fight Troy Anderleys. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. The fight Troy Anderleys. Northwestern offensive tackle Pierce Sikorsky. Will Levis, 33rd overall. I don't like that pick at all. Um, Tyler Spears, 81. Josh White, 147. Jalen Duncan, 186. And Tennessee Martin. Colton Dole, 228. If I had to tell this to Troy Anderley right now, I would give you a C. That's a tough one. I don't like Levis, though. Not good. No. Not good. They got I like Sikorsky. I got? like Sikorsky up Levitt. I like Willis. Yeah. Good. Will Levis is no, the one. No, no, no. Their other quarterback that they drafted last year. Yeah, I think I need to talk about Malik Willis. Malik Willis, I yeah. think. Yeah. Why? Wow. That's, <laughs> don't make any sense. I know. It don't make any sense. Poor why Troy. would you? The only reason why you do this, maybe for show, maybe. I don't like the. I don't like the Levis draft pick. Unless you're gonna trade somebody, or unless unless you're getting rid of Tano. Why would you do that? I don't know. I like the I like the off I like Sikorsky at eleven overall. I like Jalen Duncan at one eighty six to rest the offensive line. But Levis, really? I don't like two lanes running back till our Spears at eighty one. I don't like that at all. I mean, what are you doing? I don't know. Not what a good thing. What the heck are you doing? Not a good one. And then the last team here, the Washington Commanders. Um Mississippi State cornerback Emmanuel Ford, 16th overall. Jartavius Martin at 47 overall. Ricky Stromberg at 97 overall. Brain Daniels, 118. KJ Henry at 137. Chris Rodriguez, 193. Andre Jones at 223. Um, I don't like what Washington did. It, it just makes no sense. Really doesn't. Another not good draft. No. Not a good draft. Quarterback's interesting. They need one. <laughs> I know they do. Is Henneke their quarterback? No, he went to Atlanta. Oh, he did? Maybe they got a quarterback. I mean, who? No, Atlanta. Who? I don't know who Washington's got their quarterback. I don't know either. I, I don't know either. It's Wentz just... is not there. Or maybe he is. No, Wentz is gone. Wentz is gone. Maybe Ron Rivera is going to give it a try. Ron Rivera, if, if this don't work out, he needs to be fired. Well, Martin Mayhew should be fired. He's their GM. Martin Mayhew's their GM, really? Yes. Oh. Uh, does that make sense now? <laughs> it's starting to make sense now. It's starting to add up now. Because what are you doing? What in the blue blaze are you doing? And that's the NFL draft. That is it. Holy cow. Ian, who would you grade as the best draft, honestly, out of the whole kit and caboodle? You already know my failures. Oh, maybe the Steelers. Pittsburgh best draft? I think Philly had the best draft. Philly had a good one. Philly had a good one. The I like Pennsylvania. Had I like Philly. Draft. What they did. I love what Pittsburgh did. Baltimore had a nice draft. I thought. Um, and then of course, I had three of them. My top four. Um, four. I would say. You know what? I would take Green Bay at four. Detroit at five. 
You know, people are going to give the Lions. I don't know one, one guy gave the Lions an F. I, I, you got to look at long-term with the Lions. You know, deep down, you got to trust what Brad Holmes is doing. So I, I like the, what the Lions did. Um, they addressed needs. I like Hooker. I like Hooker. I really like the branch pick really addresses the secondary issues. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, my failures, obviously, the Jets, Miami, Broncos, Denver, San Francisco. Yep. Oh, my goodness. I mean, Washington, Washington's my top five. Yep. I didn't like what Tennessee did. So, but honestly, out of my whole top six failures, you know what I mean? Like, basically failures, you know, those are the two. Those are the teams that I thought were just absolutely despicable when it came to drafting. You know what I mean? I no agree. offense, especially San Francisco. I don't know what the heck they were right. doing. Um, and then the Denver Broncos, obviously. Um, Washington, I don't know what the heck they're doing. Um, so, any final thoughts on the NFL draft, brother? Glad it's over. Yeah, I like it, but it gets to be a little too much. What team are you keeping an eye on in the summer? Maybe Philly. Philly, because they're in the NFC. NFC could be wide open. Could be. It could be wide open. So we got to keep an eye on Philly. I know. Watch for Seattle. I think they could do some damage, too. They could. They could. Mm-hmm. All right, everybody, we're signing off here. Um, see you in the late summer, right? Eh? See you late summer. You know, maybe a couple weeks. Who knows? Training camp time. Training camp time coming up. You know, we can talk a little more sports here. A little preseason. A little preseason. So keep an eye on us on Last Three Brain Cells. Also keep an eye on my... My other podcast, OA Now, of course, talking high school sports around the OA. And we'll see what happens going forward. Take, uh, take care. God bless. We'll all see you soon, everybody. Adios, everybody. Good night. God bless.